Parable of the Lily by Liz Curtis Hicks and illustrated by Nancy Munger. One wintry day, the farmer's young daughter shuffled through the snow, headed for the mailbox at the end of the lane. Brrr, it was cold. She peered inside the mailbox and found a small white envelope. Surprise! It was addressed to her. Dear Maggie, the letter began, I'm sending a very special gift just for you. Look for it soon. Maggie loved getting presents, especially a gift as mysterious as this one. When would it come? Who was it from? What would it be? The farmer's daughter waited and waited, some days patiently, some days not so patiently. Then, one very ordinary afternoon, a box appeared on her doorstep. The gift had arrived! The farmer watched as his daughter excitedly tore up the wrapping paper. He was eager to see what she thought of her present. But Maggie didn't say a word. She just stared at the small wooden crate full of dirt. Dirt was not at all what Maggie had hoped for. Poking out of the soil was a small piece of paper that told Maggie how to care for her gift. Hide in a cool, dark place, water as needed, when spring comes, bring into the light. Then she knew it must be a growing thing, like a bulb, that would someday bloom into a plant. Oh dear, her long-awaited gift wasn't a toy or a doll or a game after all. The farmer could see that his daughter was very disappointed. His heart grew sad. The gift was from him. With a sigh, Maggie carried the wooden box down the steps into the darkest corner of the cellar and left it there on a shelf. Sometimes she remembered to water it, but most of the time Maggie just plain forgot. The farmer did not forget. He just waited and he watched. Spring came at last. The air was warmer and the grey skies had melted into robin's egg blue. What a welcome sight the sun was. It was time for the farmer to hoe his garden, getting the soil ready for the seeds that filled his pockets. Maggie wanted to help, so she marched down the cellar steps to get her own Maggie-sized gardening tools. That's when it happened. Searching for her toolbox in the darkest corner of the cellar, Maggie knocked the forgotten crate of dirt off the shelf. Crash! The crate splintered into pieces, soil was everywhere, and the flower bulb that rolled to her feet showed no signs of life. What a mess! Maggie was mad at the box and even madder at herself. She swept up the dirt and threw away the broken box, grumbling under her breath. And that ugly old flower bulb, she tossed it out the cellar door, never to think of it again. Until... Maggie woke up earlier than usual Easter morning. A warm breeze blew through her bedroom window and the chirping bird seemed to call her name. Still dressed in her nightgown, Maggie tiptoed out into the garden. She was hoping to find some daffodils or tulips to decorate the table for Easter breakfast. That's when she saw it. The loveliest lily that God ever made was blooming on the edge of her father's flower garden. Its white petals unfolded like a trumpet. Its leaves were green with new life its scent was as fragrant as the most expensive perfume. Maggie knew all at once what had happened. She didn't know whether to laugh or cry or shout with joy. So Maggie did all three at once. Wake up, everybody. Wake up. Come see. The gift is alive. Her family hurried out to the garden. They couldn't believe their eyes. So much beauty from such an ugly box of dirt. 
Maggie noticed the farmer standing in the doorway, quietly watching. His smile gave away his secret. Father, it was you who gave me the lily, Maggie squealed with delight. Suddenly her little girl smile began to fade. Oh dear, she'd thrown away her father's gift without so much as a thank you. How that must have hurt him. I'm sorry, Daddy, she said, putting her little arms around his big waist. Will you forgive me? Oh, my child, the farmer whispered, hugging her tight. That's what Easter is all about. This is how God showed his love to us. He sent his only son into the world to give us life through him. First John 4, verse 9.